Hello everybody, I'm here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and to the vanilla game where today we're actually playing with a little old sub mod on called The Rise of the Lion, which is a Czechoslovakia rework. However, it adds in, as you can see from the thumbnail, a Holy Roman Empire path or Germany, a new one. Actually gives you focuses rather than, you know, just having the event change and then you just form the Holy Roman Empire. There's actually focuses being added. It's not massive, but there is some unique focuses. So that's what we're going to check out today and uh, see how good it actually turns out to be. So for a point out the obvious, um, I've, I've just noticed that if I fully zoom out on the map, that um, there's some, some countries missing. What has happened to South America? Is this because I'm playing it not on the required, like, build for this mod? Like, it is out to date. But then again, why is Cocaine the leader? Have they been... Have they just been removed by the mod creator? Or am I just having an absolute... Who knows? But anyways, it shouldn't really affect us too much because, well, it's not exactly removed any any majors. So, as you can see, it is September. Uh, we have done the Civil War. I've done the Civil War that many times, I couldn't be bothered putting in a, yet another video. But uh, anyways, this is the Holy Roman Empire path. There is kind of two paths within here, though. It's not laid out the greatest, but there is two paths. You have the Ask for Austrian Membership route. And you go down here, these focuses here, to do with uh, Bohemia and the Czechs. And then you work down here into this part of the tree here, which is definitely the most interesting, especially the, after doing the coronation of the Pope. But if you go down Ask for the Austrian Alliance, you head down here and you've got some different things that you can do. Mostly pretty similar, but a few more kind of war goals and done slightly differently. Can't actually do holy once more until we have 35% or more than sorry 35% support for the uh, the non-aligned. So to help get that popularity up I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the anti-fascist agent because he brings down the daily fascism support by 0 0.02. So we can now go ahead and do holy once more however I'm just gonna wait until I've got a few more divisions because Netherlands gets the event Germany lifts exile on Wilhelm II and they do have the possibility to block that, so we'll just refrain from doing that until we have some more divisions. I'm hoping 10 more will be sufficient. Yeah, it should be. Okay, geez, we've had a few things fire here. Uh, we are sending a couple of advisors to the provisional Russian government. The Russian Civil War has kicked off, so we're going to help them out. We're sending Friedrich Paulus and Kurt Student to join the uh, Russian government to help them. And we are slowly drifting towards becoming the Holy Roman Empire. Right, we need 400k in our army now, so we'll work towards that. For the other route, you have to have the Kingdom of Hungary to invite the Habsburg Prince, and you need Czechoslovakia to do Otto von Habsburg, which you can't set them to do. So you've just got to get lucky that they do it. Because they now have... Oh, it's, it's cut it down. It's got rid of the whole monarchy and then fascist route. It's hidden that, but as you can see, it has greatly expanded the go left, go right, and stay in the center routes. Ah, perfect. Kaiser Wilhelm II has returned to Germany. Uh, okay, so uh, Gadja has taken over to the Czechoslovakian state. So they have went down the right. Well, Poland is getting stronger thanks to the uh, formation of the Provisional Kingdom of Poland-Romania. So Michael's puppeted Karl. That is it's interesting to see, but Poland could be... Uh, Quite a handful to deal with. Ah, perfect. We are annexing Austria. So I think we actually get cores in all this territory as well. Yeah, we do. Fantastic. Oh, the Second Russian Civil War is over, and there's a lot more independent states like Crimea, Ukraine, Belarus, Karelia. Oh, we can go ahead and demand that the Czechoslovakian state hand over our territory. I have a funny feeling this is probably going to result in war, but I think our army is capable of performing on the day. I'm just going to get our air force up in the air as well. Alright, okay, so the Czechs just unlocked a focus, which only took them seven days to do, which they've done because they've got general mobilization as a national spirit, which only get for 100 days. But if um, we do demand the Bohemian lands or demand the Sudeten land, or they're at war with a major country or more than 80% world tension, then the Czechs are able to do this. 
And then there's some other focuses it can go through as well. Like one looks like it's to assassinate Hydric. Not so surprisingly, Czechoslovakia has refused to give over their territory, so we must invade them. So this might be a little bit costly with us initially, but I think obviously once we break through their fortifications, we will be able to, yeah, start encircling them and there will be no stopping us. Wait, they have a rail gun? What? Oh, well, it's my rail gun now, thank you very much. Oh, Prague's fallen. And Berno is about to, to fall. Yep, nice, that is a decent bit of equipment. Oh, I just noticed the Kingdom of Poland, Romania has formed, so... Ah, oh, interesting flag, actually. Uh, they're gonna be a bit of a beast to take down now, so that's gonna be an interesting war against Poland. So, not surprisingly, there is some resistance to our occupation in the Czech territories, so we do get a Czech resistance mission, which we need to complete as soon as possible. FX, if not completed within 308 days, they basically... Revolt against me. Okay, cool. Well, we, we need to deal with them. Oh, yes, we're back. The Holy Roman Empire starting to form. Well, we've renamed ourselves and taken the flag. Okay, so we just went ahead and restored the Imperial Diet, which is replaced not so holy with holy only in name, which has reduced the effects of it. And we've also gained the National Spirit Imperial Diet, which gives us 0 0.1 stability weekly, which is... Very handy, gives us some other bonuses as well. So just to point out, we have dealt with the Czech resistance. This focus did open up after we done this one, because that one modified Czech nationalist resistance, and then it opened up this. Oh, the decolonization of the British Empire. Oh, because they've went to the Union of Britain, so... Yeah, everyone's leaving the Allies. Oh, yep, everyone's left the Allies, and the Mexicans had literally just joined it. Oh, my days. Belgium's actually seen sense, and so is Luxembourg. So we're just annexing both of them. Perfect. Yeah, the Netherlands is in a spot of bother now. Hello there, we're here to invade you, and I don't think we're going to really struggle in the slightest. Yep, the Netherlands is just getting absolutely destroyed. Yep, there we go. They're gone already. So who is next? We could go after the Swiss, we could go after France, or we could go after Yugoslavia. I think, though, first we will go ahead and change general staff to imperial staff. Which gives us some further boat. I said, you know what? No, let's ask for Slovenia. Actually, no, there's no point asking for Slovenia because France is guaranteeing them. So we might as well just go after France. France, who I believe still suffers from disjointed government. Yes, yes, they do. France is standing defiant. Well, we won't tolerate this behavior. We're going on in. No, in fact, we're, we're already smashing through them. France, this is a pathetic display. Where are they? Oh, oh my, oh my days, France. Okay, I think I took all the land I need to from France, except from Savoy. We'll take that once we've taken Switzerland and the Italian territories. Uh, we do have German France. Ah, perfect, that's much better. We can see where we hold territory now. The Holy Roman Empire faction is here, and Hungary has joined us. Well, there's no need to invade, because Yugoslavia has given us Slovenia. The Japanese shogunate wants to be in our faction. Ah, uh, wh why not? They're actually doing quite well in China, so let's... Let's get them in. Wait, what? How how the German France end up at war with all of Spain? Wait, what a bizarre turn of events. The Italians have went democratic and they've guaranteed the Swiss. I'm so clueless at how this has occurred and everybody started to embargo me. Oh dear. <laughs> Watch the resources quickly disappear. Yeah, Japan could have done with you not doing that. You idiots. So I can't do anything to help you. Okay, well, Spain is fully ours now when we've put Carl of Spain in power. Um, yeah, and I'll deal with the Italians might be easier said than done. Yes, uh, do you know what? Actually, Hungary, you can have it. Oh, fuff. Because Hungary's my puppet, I just made Hungary my puppet and now I'm at war with Russia. Yeah, hello Italy, how's it going? I believe it's... Neither of those wars is what I want you to call you into. Oh no, because Italy's joined the Mutual Assistance Bloc, because that makes total blinking sense, doesn't it? Okay, we've had some success against the Italians. We've managed to push in and secure Trest. Oh my days, is the AI completely idiotic? And if my tanks are able to slip on in behind, then we're on to a blinking winner over in this front. Yeah, that, that is the entirety of that section of the Italian army completely cut off. Okay, yeah, that, this war is going... Yeah, this is going very well. Well, I'm not going to complain. That is a fantastic encirclement we've got over there. That's a decent portion of the Italian army in there. About to be completely wiped off the face of the earth. Without any... Oh, yeah, we've, we've just 
landed straight into the capital. That should be, yep, that's the Italians dealt with. Oh, the only issue now is I've got to go and take out communist China before I can actually go ahead and do coronation by the Pope. Yep, yeah, sorry Switzerland, it's just the way it's going to be, I'm afraid. The dawn of the European Confederate, well... Bern's fallen, it's just a matter of time before the entire Swiss... Yeah, there we go, they're gone. Well, Japan is certainly struggling to to do anything that resembles warfare at this point. So we're going to go ahead and send a decent number of troops south. So we can uh, cause a bit of a ruckus in China. Because we, we need to defeat them if we're going to actually do anything with the territory we've just seized. No, Kaiser Wilhelm II has died. We're stuck with Wilhelm III now. Nice, the German invasion of southern China has begun. And it's going off to a very good start. I don't even think we'll need to do this naval invasion. Joe Hungary, you can have no control over Slovakia. You're my puppet. You do not get to have a puppet of a puppet. It just It's not how the world works, I'm afraid. Okay, we're, we're working as fast as we can to sort out supply over here. Because it's kind of mixed bag. But we have carried out a very successful naval invasion over here. Okay, we are doing quite good. Uh, I think supply is starting to kind of work itself out as well. But my goal is to just try and take down communist China, really. That's why I've got these 24 just pushing as quickly as possible to communist China. Because if they die, the war's over. Nice naval invasion, Japan. But you could really do with holding the, the Russians back. The fronts are actually very close with touching as well. Although, where is Japan gone? Oh, China's so close to dying. We have lost a million men as well, sadly. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. China's gone. I was going to say, we might actually struggle to get across the river in the forts, but we've we've done it. And we are actually laying siege to the capital of communist China. Oh, shang has gone. So, I think, yeah, communist China and Sing Chang are the... Uh, Yep, all that remained. Oh, without their allies, Communist China is weak. How is, how is the UK invading Iran the end of the League of Nations? Hey, finally, I can do coronation by the Pope. I will actually accept that. I don't usually give in to ultimatums, but I really can't be bothered fighting you right now when I've got Russia to deal with. So yes, I will go ahead and let Africa have their freedom. Question of the Papal States. We can... The Vatican becomes a puppet. The Vatican's already our puppet, but um, I will take them. Pius is here. Yeah, welcome. Because we've got kind of two Sicilies in the Duchy of Tuscany as well now. I honestly don't know what Russia's doing, but they're declaring war on tons of people, and my faction just keeps getting thicker and thicker. Oh, nicely done, Japan. Turkey's even decided to declare war on the Russians now. So, pretty much, I think, everybody. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people at war with. The Russian Empire now, they have annoyed quite a large part of the world. Oh, it's got to the point that Baku is actually their capital. Oh, I was going to say, who's justifying against me? But it's just the Russian Empire. Oh, well, they were quickly dealt with down here. Oh, there we go, it's over. It's finally over. Well, I think the borders have somewhat worked out quite nicely. Um, These are some independent nations down here. They can do as they please. Iran got their land. Turkey got some land because they came in clutch uh, at the end. Obviously, Japan gained some land, and we've got a nice big German-Russia puppet, as well as the Volga German state. I had to puppet them. I just had to. It just makes sense. Um, so I think, and Karelia got Murmansk just because it, it made sense to give them it. Um, I think all that really needs to happen now is we absolutely destroy the kind of buffer zone between our, uh, our faction. And I think I'm going to deal with a few more nations as well because they don't really fit in my sphere of influence like the fascists in the Baltic Unitary State. I want them to go. Sorry Palestine, we're just invading you. We need to take you over if we're going to finish off our uh, focus tree down here. Well, we have restarted the Kingdom of Jerusalem. So we've got Grandmaster Siegfried in the Holy Order of Jerusalem. I don't know if I pointed out earlier, but Knights Hospitaller under Grandmaster Conrad is here as well. And then we have the Order of Templars with Grandmaster Heinrich also with us. So we've, we've established all three orders. I'm just going to do some donations to Jerusalem and then we can declare the crusade against the whole world. Well, the Kingdom of Poland, Romania is about to meet my wrath. They're kind of strong, but they do have a massive border to cover and I'm literally just covering the part that... 
I directly border them with, not my my puppets. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and declare war on them. Okay, yeah, this is going a lot better than I was anticipating it to go. But then again, I do have, I don't have air superior. You're kidding me on. Warsaw's about to fall. Happy days. We've killed 247k. They are over halfway to capitulation. It's a shame Bucharest is now their capital. We're uh, a long way off of taking that, but I think they'll probably capitulate before we get there. We might have to call in Hungary just to bypass a death stack, but well, saying that, we're breaking through. Yep, sorry, Kingdom of Poland, Romania. You, you were just easy pickings in the end. I thought it was going to be a lot tougher than it actually has turned out to be. But, um... Yeah, we've, we've absolutely destroyed them. And I think with the fall of Bucharest, in a few seconds, it'll be... Yeah, there we go. It's it's done dusted. Well, I feel like it's only right if we take down Belarus. You know, we're just trying to, you know, unite our... Well, we have united the fronts anyways. We now have a pretty <laughs> big coverage here. Sorry, Belarus. It's a little bit overkill, but... Yep. Yeah, sorry. I am betraying the Baltic Unitary State, but they are they are fascist. How how can I be aligned with fascists? Well, I know we were uh, allies Unitary Baltic State, but or Baltic Unitary State, but um, yes, you have outlived your use to me, I'm afraid, and you're going to be victim to one of the first uses of a certain bomb. Yeah, it's maybe a little bit overkill, but hey-ho! And the Estonian capital is under siege, so I think this is Done and, yep, there we go. <laughs> that was a very quick war, and I am going to go ahead and puppet another wee kingdom. I think that is where I'm I'm going to leave it. We have had a very, very successful game, and I have thoroughly enjoyed playing it. We've we have we've done everything we needed to do. The only focus I didn't do down here is declare war in Italy, but we've done that. Anyways, um don't really know what going down here does. I don't know what it does at all, because changing the plan. So, as you can see, still... Holy German Empire. All right, okay. Okay, so it's slightly different. But anyways, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon with something else. Until then, do take care. Sure, bye. Then, now.